Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to take a look about how to transfer the settings configuration radio list from one console to another one. At the end, you are going to see the difference between just transfer settings or transfer settings and database. First, let's take a look about the main console. In this demonstration, we are going to try to transfer this special layout to custom consoles. On settings, we are going to try to transfer the radio list. We got five radios. Also, in operators, we got administrator account and two operators account. On rules, we got custom rules and two position rules. Now that we know everything that we want to transfer, let's go to the services and we are going to export the radio list and say the dispatch settings. Just for demonstration purpose, we are going to make two files. One file just with settings and another file with settings and database. Later, we are going to see the difference when we apply just settings or settings and database. Now in the new console, please confirm that you installed the same Smart PTT version and you already installed the license key. Now that the system is up and running, connecting to the server, and you confirm the previous, let's transfer first the radio list. Let's take a look on the radio list on this console. And let's double check the list is empty. Let's click finish. We go back to services and import radio list. We look for the file we take a look again on radio list and we can see now that our five radios are already on the list. We click finish and we refresh the console. After we refresh the console with the radio list, now the radios appear on the console. Now let's do the send with the file just settings. After we refresh the console, now we can see the changes applied to the dispatcher. We got the new layout, it's the same layout coming from the old console or the main console. And let's take a look what else we 
apply to the console. Let's look on tools. We got custom console 1 and custom console number 2. Let's go to settings, operators. We got the administrator account and we are missing operator 1 and operator 2. Let's take a look on rules, custom rules. The list is still empty. And position rules, the list is still empty. Now we are going to install the file, settings and database. We are going to refresh the console and we are going to take a look about the difference. Now that we refresh the console with the new file settings and database, let's take a look. We still have the same layout on tools, custom console 1, custom console 2, on settings, operators, we got the administrator account, operator 1 and operator 2. Let's take a look on rules, custom rules, we got the two custom rules. And also on position rules, we got the two position rules. Before finishing this video, let's take a look about the option override this patch GUI. When you select this option, the system is going to show you a warning. There is no possible to use two consoles with the same GUI. It's going to leave in a system error. For more details, click on the link and the software will let you know all the information, details, and warning that you need to know when you select this option.